What is up, everybody, and welcome to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. The game released about five or six hours ago, and it is currently midnight my time, so it's the console release, even though we're playing on PC. Originally, I was going to play on console, but my collector's edition did not arrive on time. Therefore, we are playing on PC. Welcome to Red Lobster. So, we're going to do a new game. I did play the first, like, 30 seconds of the game to check sound. Uh, we'll probably adjust it again anyway, so it won't matter. Anyways, I've not watched anything besides, like, the trailers and stuff up to this point. We're going to do this for real right now. New game. Delete this data and start a new game. Pilot entry is going to be, as always, it's going to be cast fault. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it. Excuse me. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. So this all looks the same as what we saw before in like the earlier trailers. Time to get to work, 621. Your Discord is dying? How's that happen, Allison? Also, hello. Activate the AC. This is quite the way to enter a planet. That looks bad. Oh, that's very bad. They cut us in half. Sort of. You're watching 12 streams at once. That's a lot. I <laughs> your computer's not on fire. Pop goes the AC. That's a hell of a landing. I don't know, Bumpy. ACs don't take fall damage. They never have. Kind of a touch of silent line, yeah. Alright, so I'm most interested to see if my computer runs this game smoothly. Descent to ISB 2262. Rubicon 3. Complete. Your position is grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. So if anybody's wondering, I am playing on an Xbox Eight One controller. Activating combat mode. All right, so I gotta go through the controls really quick. So left analog stick is run. <laughs> Uh, we jump with, with the, with the, that's A, and we can, that's how we boost upwards. I know the weapons are tied to the bumpers. Then quick boost is going to be X. Y on my PS5 controller. Um, just because I really like the Xbox One controller for stuff. The control movement is similar to, is that another century? Uh, that, what does what ACE stand for? It's another century something, right? You can change the prompts. What prompts? Oh, I gotcha. Good point. Is it in... Game settings? No. Camera? No. Graphics? No. Control? Oh, input device? Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's how you turn boost move on. Oh, so when I was playing around with the sound earlier, I didn't know how I did this, but I did do it eventually. Alright, we're moving. Let's go. Also, let me know if it's too quiet for you guys, because I turned it down a little bit because it was kind of loud. Okay, I guess I can read these. Some actions consume energy, and are disabled while energy is depleted. Energy replenishes rapidly when grounded. Similar to how it's always been. Bit quiet. What's up, retry? Targeting controls. The reticle automatically targets on-screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change the priority target. So it's similar to Armored Core 4 lock-on. 
Gun. Blade. Nice. You're suffering with the emblem editor right now, but you made some progress. That's good. <laughs> All right. So target assist keeps your AC oriented toward the target. So this is your hard lock function. So if you right click, if you click down the right analog stick, you can do that. When enabled, your AC will automatically lock its orientation toward enemies as you approach them. You can still use the camera to change targets while in target assist mode. All right. So I mean, it is it's a hard lock, but we saw before that it's not as hard as everybody it makes got it seem. No gas in it. Oh god, what is that? What's up, Rex? I actually don't think ACs are powered on gas. I'm sure there's some sort of reactor in there. The missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder of the AC is capable of multi-lock. Hold down the button to multi-lock. Multi wow. So far, the movement feels incredibly good. Definitely gonna have to get used to it, though. I mean, it's different than every other Armored Core game, right? So... I'm taking a lot of damage for no reason, fucking around too, so it'll be fine. Press Y to open doors. Nuclear gas. Okay, repair kits. Use repair kits to repair your AC and recover AP. Armor points. Repair kits can be used up to three times per mission, but cannot be used in rapid su succession. So there's a cooldown. Your AC is taking damage. Patch it up. Don't tell me what to do, Walter. What's up, Lucky? How are you? Welcome to the stream. Access the We're about three minutes in. It's good so far. Let's look at our boy really quick. God, it looks so pretty. Which is expected. Hell yeah, Cookie. 23 hours and 40 minutes left. We're going to do it. Maybe. It's going to be an adventure for everybody involved. I'm going to get a little loopy eventually. Time to fly, six, two, one. I wonder what the deal with that thing that pops out of our back is right there. Like right behind the head. If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. Hey, I don't appreciate that. My brain is fine. I don't think our brain's fine. Enough chat. Back to work. That is very interesting. I don't scavenge the AC hmm. Rex ahead and find a valid mercenary license. We're illegals here. You'll need ID to operate. So we knew about this already. Okay, do you guys want my head to cover my ammo or my health? Probably my ammo. That probably makes more sense, right? Quick boost! Let's you instantly accelerate in any direction, helping you evade attacks or swiftly close in on enemies. It's L plus X. Relax, Ronan. Top right. Oh, am I like boosting behind my face? Here, let's go through this mission first, then I can play around with it. I know it is running. People are weird though. Okay, so if we hold this down, we do like a charge attack. You see that? It's a heavy slash. Then I think if we double press, we get like a combo. Yeah. Okay. Dude, quick boosting feels really nice. All right, assault boost. It's a. Uh, it's like over boost was. All right, so should we explore? Do you guys want to just like explore the map and see what happens instead of pushing towards objectives? I kind of want to. Well, no returning fire now. Use assault boost constantly. That is different. Well. Okay, you can use overboost constantly in the older games if you're good at it. I was never good at it. 
Maybe not constantly, but you, you could use it a lot for a lot of maneuvers. Wonder if there's loot here somewhere. I'm historically horrible at finding things, so I'll try, but no promises. What is that? Just a boy? Girl? Mech? Oh, yeah. Dude, that over that the uh, the quick boost feels so nice. Once we tune this energy too, and we can use it a lot more. Oh, it's gonna be sick. What we got here? Wreckage. I'll analyze it from my end. RP, are you there? Can you run a prediction? In uh, whether or not I'll defeat the first boss on the first try. License code extracted from an AC wreck in the contaminated city. Contains the pilot's registration data. Registration number RB18, call sign Thomas Kirk, rank 26 slash E, affiliation independent, license expired. Useless. This one's already expired. Keep looking. Alright, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are the limit? Alright, there is out of bounds. Take note. If I was a hidden part, I'd be back here somewhere, honestly. I think they're like literally in chests from the, the gameplay we saw before. Like you're not looking for like a part sitting on the ground, which should make them easier to find. You don't know what I can handle. Oh, it stops you from going out of bounds. You don't ring out. Okay. Really? You're going to pull a shield on me like that? Unbelievable. Hey, stop it. Prediction is up now, guys. Vote, vote, vote. Imagine walking in an armored core game, right? All right, assault boost feels so good too. Everything, all of the controls feel really clean right now. Like you have so much like bob and weave, like get in, get out mechanics, and it feels so clean. Now, granted, this is very literally the first mission fighting the weak ass MTs, so that might change my might change my opinion later. But for right now, it feels really good. Uh, more out of bounds, all right. Or the boundary line, we'll call it, not out of bounds. Yeah, this definitely handles a lot differently than previous Armored Core games. Like even from like the like the. The, the way you move your AC, you don't stay in front of it or behind it. You know what I mean? Like, I literally can turn sideways right now, which is different. Drones! What's up, Billy? You couldn't hear me if you have the stream muted, but hello. I'm saying hello. Oh, there's a guy right there. Hey, what are you doing? Stop. Nice. All right. Time, time for scan. The blade feels really good so far. I want to try the dagger and the lance out. All right, license code Monkey Gordo. <clears throat> Contains the pilot's registration data, registration number RB37, call sign Monkey Gordo, rank 
unranked affiliation independent license expired 15 days ago. It's still valid, but the oh, in 15 days. I can't read. We can't use this. Can't read. Head to the next wreck. I have no idea when the first bo boss is RP, to be honest with you. Make make one for like, uh, it's, it's fine. You don't have to, it's fine. Did everyone vote who's here? If you want to vote, say something in chat and we'll make another, we'll make another prediction. Next checkpoint. We're pretty close then, I think. If I quit, I'm like kind of messing around though. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, whoa, hey, calm down. Don't hover over my head like that. I don't appreciate that. Wonder what kind of weapon this is. Is it like a battle rifle or just a regular rifle? Probably a regular rifle. Oh, you can't make it till we decide on a winner. Okay, it's fine. All right, there are no parts right here. Wait a second. Is that a, that's not a chest, is it? No. Wonder if we need to kill all this stuff. Probably should. Also, if anyone's wondering, we're not going for like any specific rank on missions right now. We're just gonna have fun. Maybe later on we'll try to get some S ranks and all that good stuff, but for now I'm not concerned with that. All right, you all, you all, you guys gotta chill. All right. Am I covered right now? I should be okay to scan this. What's up, beast guys? So does everything feel like you're piloting a mech? Yeah, I would say so. It feels really good, actually. All right, license code extracted from AC. We got RB29, G7, Hakra, rank 22D. Affiliation was Balam Industries. License expires in 12 hours. Corp license. Hey. Go and check it out. Okay, where's it at? It is over here. Two repair kits remaining. He uses a repair kit. Streamer's bad at the game. One thing I don't know how to do is how, I don't know how to kick. All right, vertical catapult. While staying on a vertical catapult, perform a jump to quickly reach high up places. Press A while you're on it. Vertical catapult to get some altitude. Hmm, this looks suspicious. That's it. Try accessing the wreck. It'd be a shame if something appeared here to attack us while we're scanning this. Yo, wait, is that, that's the, uh, the cover AC, isn't it? Registration number RB23. It looks Rick like. the bill. Call sign. What? I think it is. Looks like they were on to you Whoa. after all. Hey! I've been ambushed! No mood to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now, they won't have enough to ID you. Boss is kind of aggressive, huh? Holy shit! Should have saved some more missiles. We are low on the ammunitions. Are you serious? They're out of bounds. Dude, that's not good. We got what we came for. Tie up the loose end, 61. Oh god, I missed. 
All right, we're going to try hard locking here and see how that feels. Great. I love that for our right shoulder ammunition. Oh shit. I needed to stagger him then use the blade, but I, he staggered out of bounds. All right, you guys win if you voted no. Uh, I um, I know I was supposed to be flying around the entire time, but it was working for a second there, so I just kept going with it. That's it. Try accessing the rack. Yeah, you're not supposed to sit on the ground. The missiles are what fucked me up. I was trying to play like old armored core where you just literally like quick boost, quick boost, quick boost out of everything. Those missiles I was not quick boosting out of. Down you're gonna go momentarily. Big damn, big damn. Listen, if I didn't die at least on the first boss, you guys would think I'm too good at the game, you know? It's all part of the plan. Oh my god. Well, this might be the second death right here. I got hit by something real fucking hard right there. Oh, he got me. <sighs> so I think in the middle of the fight right there, did he fire a different weapon besides missiles at some point there? It, sound, it looked like something chunked me big at the beginning there. Also, what's up, Zardok? How are you? Welcome to the stream. That's it. Try accessing the rack. Yeah, I think I got hit by like a full, a full burst right there. Hit real hard, less than hard hit, hard well hit. <laughs> I like how the boss just, just rolls up on you too. Oh, not gonna work. I gotta remember all these buttons to press here. There's too many of them. Use your mobility in the air to get clear of explosions on the ground. You've got them now. They can kill six two. And the bonks. Bad time to reload, 
flight shelter ammunition at can be presented. Ah, no, 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 not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. We've stayed aggressive enough that he should uh, stagger right here momentarily. That right there, whatever that is, is what's fucking me up right there. Alright, there we go. First boss down. Woo! What's up, Gayano? The game is so good so far. We're literally at the very beginning. That was the first mission. License code Raven. Registration number RB23, call sign Raven, rank F. Affiliation independent, license expires in three days. What's up, Screamer1000? How are you? Raven. Man, that's I wonder if that's a reference to something, guys. All right, that wasn't bad. I mean, it could have went better, but it's fine. All right, so we got paid 170K. We spent 68.646K. It's a good day. I'll take it. Only issue for you is the operator being a dude. A for now. Substance. Ooh. Lore. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire stoke the fire all right so coral's a rare resource that people want makes sense hey we're in the garage now i think all mine number rb23 call sign raven authentication complete it's beautiful removing mia status restoring access privileges this is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Wonder if they're gonna turn on us eventually. Welcome back, Raven. Yeah, the cutscene was very quiet, Ronan. It was like it was quiet on my end too. The rest of the audio is not that quiet. The authentication. Raven. That's who you are now. You're on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. So we were deployed as an unnamed uh, mercenary, Aldison, and we picked, we stole a key card or a license that this with the call sign Raven. Restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. Okay, so we should do the training stuff then. Get some parts. Uh, the following feature is now available. Sortie. Or mission, I assume. Uh, AC. We have AC design access now. And got the emblem. 13. It should have been a 9. And we got the Tenderfoot uh, data because that's like the, the pre-order DLC thing. And we got the Melander C3. Oh, uh, it's the core, head, arms, legs... We gotta use that, don't we? We ca I feel like we have to. Anyways, let's go take a look at the garage. Holy crap. Alright, so, assembly. I can read this, I suppose, right? Alright, Ronan. Um, thanks for stopping by. We'll be here for a long time if you want to stop back in. Customize AC assemblies using the parts you have available in the assembly mem at the assembly menu. When assembling an AC, ensure that your build keeps with the maximum weight and energy load parameters. We know all about that already. Uh, we have access to no new weapons, but we have access to this nice fucking head that we're putting on right now. Oh, hardware engineer, assemble one AC, nice. 
Are we gonna get 24 YouTube breaks? Uh, of course, retry. Probably not quite 24, um, because I'm probably gonna take breaks throughout the stream. And we'll like hang out for a little little stints during the 24 hours. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna like be going constantly. Like we'll take a break for breakfast and like lunch. Uh, anyways. All right, so we can put on the Melander C3 core. Uh, this is a custom core part developed by Balam Altered to improve combat suitability. This model features a lighter basic frame enhanced with partial armor plating to maintain a modest weight. So it has better AP, better, to, ad, better attitude stability, uh, lowers our generator output adjustment. Uh, it weighs more, has a higher energy load, and actually puts us over our current allowable load at the moment. Or I think, does it, wait, does it actually? No, it doesn't. I can't read. Uh, so our boost speed does go down. I We might just go full Melander right now. Because we can fit all of it. You know what? Actually, we're going to keep the crawler legs from Rad Industries. And I don't, we have to probably buy everything else at this point. I don't know. I, I think attitude stability is your stagger bar. No breaks, you're still working. Jeez. How are you still working, Cookie? It's late. Oh, there it is. All right. Now for the most important part of the game. The paint. So we're probably going to start off basic as per usual uh, and do a color set like for the entire build. And then I'll go, but we'll go back in and we'll take a little at some point, like between episodes, we'll do like a whole like customization stream. Anyways, I wonder what color he's going to make his AC. Ooh, we can kind of get like a darker. No, we need a little brighter. We need to learn how to build it so perfect. <laughs> All right, I like that right there. Graph <laughs> we got the achievement graphic designer. Uh, oh wait, what is this reflectiveness? Oh, look at that. Um, oh shit, I don't know. All right, I don't like the metallic look. Uh, like the super metallic look. Like that's not my cup of tea personally. Do you wonder if it's gonna be red wing? Yeah, I know, right? The shop is going to be pretty limited at first. Seems like they really wanted to ease people into the garage. That makes sense. Why aren't your ACs pink like your namesake? Because Char had the wrong color scheme. They called him the red common, but his AC was pink. Actually, Johnny Ride Ridden had a dark red Galgoog, which looks cooler in my opinion. I like that one. We'll go with eight. All right. So our sub color is going to be... Uh, let's go over here and it's gonna be it's not gonna be like white white. It's gonna be like that like kind of Like a darker not gray, but not You know, you know not white either Kind of a realistic coloring I wonder if it would look better with a red and white swapped Nah, I think we'll stick with this for now when you find the color, you uh, copy it. Oh, you can. How do you do that? Oh. Nice. I did the wrong thing. All right. Copy. Oh, why is paste? Oh, that's that noise. Yeah, X is copy, then Y is paste. Make it red and green for Christmas because this is a Christian stream. It is? <laughs> oh, thank you, Bumpy. I see, I see. These are good things to know how to do. Okay, so support color. Um, red. Optional. Oh, optional, also red. Other. That's the joints, right? I don't typically like making my joints anything but gray. So we'll leave those. <laughs> I swear to Odin, let me have Halloween first. All right. Now, this is our device coloring. And I'm a sucker for the, the usual bright red, baby. Now, that did not change our blades coloring. That's probably the weapon set, I assume. Yes. Well... If anyone was wondering what color we're going to make it. 
Uh, the rest of our weapons, though, we're going to leave, like, the base weapon color. I don't like... Well, for right now, we're going to go with this. All right, now, decals. Do we just get into it right now? I feel like we should just do it right now. What can I make? We got numbers. We don't have any numbers unlocked. We, wait, we can probably do it down here somewhere. No, we don't have any numbers right now. Okay, so we're going to hold off on this. You already saw Thanksgiving stuff in the store. Chris will be in stores next week, probably. That is ridiculous. But we have Cat. Oh, maybe we... All right, hold on. We'll hold off on this just for right now. We'll come back to this letter later. All right, so we, we don't have access to the garage right now, right? Or not the garage, but the... um The shop. I'll try to make my own later. I don't want to do it right now. I want to play the game more. All right, so all of this looks good. So, oh, here's training. Learn AC controls and basic tactics via mercenary support simulators. So I think we unlock parts from this. So learn to pilot an AC and master fundamental battle techniques from the training menu. Complete the exercise using the training AC to earn standardized training parts used for instruction. Yo! Sinocard Dragonkin, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate that. How's it going? Okay, so beginning training number one, basic controls. Uh, all right, so this VR simulator for basic mercenary training is brought up by all mine. We're playing nine breaker again. Let's do it I kind of like that color palette this green and, and like teal Okay, to land shots on moving enemies you must pull the trigger while they're in lock-on range where target tracking is active We got a machine gun, it feels so good! Oh, but can I fire the- oh my god, look at that! Oh, I like those missiles. Alright, reloading. Um, what, what, what weapons with magazines will automatically reload when the magazine's ammunition is depleted. Manually reload before engaging the enemy to minimize the risk of your attacks will be interrupted by a reload. It's Y plus RT. Nice. Oh, dude, he like clicks the mag out too. That's so sick. Someone made a praise the sun emblem. I'm not surprised by that at all. Missile lock. Uh, we already know how to use missiles. So do we really need to read this? Where's the Moto Cobra? We'll get there, hopefully. I hope we get something equivalent to that. Or the MG-1000 from the older games. All right, uh, melee weapons. So use your left hand weapon with LT. Uh, you can double tap or hold to charge attack. Holding. Combo. There we go. All right, scanning. This is new. Uh, you can detect enemy near enemies nearby or containers that hold AC parts by scanning. So you just hold the down button and there is a cooldown on it as you can see over here in a second. So it has to reload. And now we can do it again. Whoa! I've been ambushed because I didn't scan. See, this is why you have the tutorial. Whoa! Oh, program was complete. I pressed scan at the same time there. I was like, what is happening right now? What did I do? Honestly, I don't I don't blame you for doing that lucky. The game looks incredible. It looks beautiful. So we got the machine gun, the Ludlow. So I think we should knock out some more of these right now. Why don't we just do them while we're here? Uh, that was sortie training. Do oh, never mind. We only have one. 
Okay, um, we don't need to, to do the AC test, but I wonder for left back unit, I can put on the machine gun. Interesting. Wait, I didn't want to do that. Put that back on. This. Oh, you can't. Okay, only certain weapons can be. Okay. So, now I saw... Hold on a second, though. Now, I definitely saw somebody put blades on their back. I don't know why we can't do that right now. It was definitely a thing in the in the, the PvP tutorial. What's the... I, we'll keep the rifle for right now. Oh, uh, you need to unlock that. Okay, I was I knew it was a thing, so I'm not crazy. Alright, so we can sort you for the next mission then. I'm guessing the mission is going to be longer than 20 minutes. So maybe we should do this now. So, well guys, that was the first episode of Armored Core 6 Rubicon. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next time to take on the second mission of the game. Thanks. Peace.